What's up guys, Rishal92 here bringing you a video on what tech was aimed at gamers from CES. That quote obviously, all the gamers eyes. We are talking about realistic stuff here. So the first most interesting tech that actually caught everyone's eyes was the Razer's Project Christine. I mean a fully modular PC, just unplug your, your component and slot in a new one. That's absolutely brilliant if you think about it. So when it comes down to Christine, we heard it's water cooled, we heard we can have dual GPUs, which is graphics cards, dual CPUs, not dual CPUs, but a CPU unit, and we can have that little display unit with a screen. You'll probably have a look about around my background. I'm gonna have some moving things going around this video. So guys, it will have all of these funky things. And is it really feasible? Think about it. If Razer actually released this, you can have one tower. Your main tower is your basically your motherboard and all the pieces slot in there. But now, for how long would your motherboard be able to trans transmit the memory produced by all those components? Obviously, I don't think for too long. So I think maybe every six years, you'd have to completely change your Razer Chris Project Christine tower, whichever one you buy, whatever they decide, they decide to call it, actually. Well, next up on the list, we have the Razer Nabu Band, fitness band. <laughs> the CES was all about wearable technology, and the Razer Nabu actually won the People's Choice Award, as well as Project Christine. So, Razer's been doing phenomenal things. I mean, the bulk quality is not phenomenal, of course, but it is quality. But what you pay for is the innovation with Razer, which is what we need to understand about the brand, and then we'll appreciate the products more. But anyway guys, Razer Nabu. So you've got a small little display here on this side. It's your pop-up public display alert. And then you've got another bigger display on this side here, which is basically your actual display. So you can like read whatever's going on over there, which is interesting. So you don't have everybody looking or knowing who's gonna who's calling you or whatever, like maybe the pebble per se. So guys, this is all tech aimed at gamers. Next up on the list we have Steam Machines. How far do you think steam machines will get? I mean, aren't they just computers at the end of the day? They're having variations now of components inside of them, which means it's going to run SteamOS, but it's going to be a PC. So what is the whole purpose of the steam machine? Quite interesting. We should have a look at that. And we should see where it leads. So guys, next is the new NVIDIA, NVIDIA K1 Tegra chip. This chip is amazing, it's a super chip, but tiny, so you can expect some, some tablets in it to have those type of chips in them which will enable us to play better games and we'll have better graphics on tablets, so in which direction is gaming going then again? Makes you think, eh? Next we have PlayStation now, we haven't forgot your PlayStation and console guys. I'm a computer guy myself, yes I got a PS3, I don't think I'm getting PS4, but PlayStation now, it's tempting. To be able to play anything from your console, stream it over, which is excellent. Considering the new routers that came out and that speeds will actually support it. Well guys, that's my overview of basically the tech aimed at gamers for CES. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And leave your comments below. What caught your eye at CES?